And welcome back, this is Baller Scuba with more bonus episodes of Let's Play Final Fantasy V. I'm joined as always by our champions, Bart, Reyna, Krill, and Ferris, and I need to move Krill to the back row. When we last left off, we were going over jobs. Everybody is now the bear job class. I have decided that I like bear more than mime, so I'm going to stick with the bear job class. You might notice that uh, at the beginning of the jobs specials, I was at level 54. Uh, now I'm at level 52. You might be wondering what the hell happened. Uh, the real reason for that is because my save state got corrupted and I have to, had to use an older one, so I had to do some of the level grinding again, and I was able to master the job classes and get all the blue magics at a little bit lower of a level than before. I am still very overleveled for what we are going to do. I, I shouldn't have any difficulty whatsoever going through the end of the game, which is what we are going to be doing with my more or less ultimate party. Uh, not up to level 99, not everybody has every job class mastered, but we're going to soldier on as we are. This is still very overleveled. I will be skipping quite a lot of what we are going to be doing. As a result, I will only show you the boss battles. Uh, as we go along, they should be pretty simple. Uh, in terms of uh, my build for what I am going through, Bart is level 52 bear with sword and shot. He does not, or sorry, S shot. He does not need the two swords because that does come innately. Once again, thanks to Crash B 2007 for pointing that out to me and how little I knew about the bear job class. In terms of equipment, he does have the Brave Bra brave Blade, Excalibur, Ribbon, Crystal Mount, and Protect Ring. As you can see, two swords is equipped right there. For Reyna, we do have Jump and Mug. Uh, because she does have Jump, her equipment is the Holy Lance, along with a Flame Shield, Ribbon, Prison Dress, and Protect Ring. Next up we do have Krill. Krill is using white and time, uh, just as a general rule. Uh, should I desire, I could switch out for call, which I might do, but for most of the boss battles, white and time will do exactly what I need to. And should I need to, I could swap in red times two uh, at any time so that I can double cast. Red times two, I don't like that name because it's mostly a double cast. That's what I use it for, at least in terms of equipment. She's still on the healing staff with the ribbon, crystal mail, and protect ring. I do like that protect ring. Finally, we do have Ferris, who is using black and blue, of course. Uh, should I need to, I can also put in red times two, so we can double cast those as well. All the rest... All the rest of the abilities well, are nice for stat bonuses and that kind of stuff, but most of the time I prefer to use the magic and all that kind of stuff. In terms of equipment, Ferris is on the Mass Mune with the Ice Shield, Ribbon, Prism Dress, and Protect Ring. I'll meet you at the boss. A boss. It's gonna be a boss run! First boss is Wood Sprite. Now, before I had to use a little bit of strategy in order to try to take the Wood Sprite out, I don't think I'm gonna need that this time. S shot should carry me throughout this entire fight. As you can see, I'm doing massive amounts of damage. I might not be able to one shot the wood sprite uh, with one turn using a shot, but I am damn close. I think it hit right now. Either way, this enemy wasn't really a, a, that much of a challenge before. This time, it is even less of a challenge. Nothing to steal. Is that enough for the victory? Down goes the wood sprite. It's amazing what even a few levels will do. Just very, very simple. Alright, next up is the machine itself. I have not attempted to change much in my build. I want to try to show this off as, as easily as I can. Uh, Bart's has the fire ring. Everything else is exactly the same. Yeah, I know. I, I'm supposed to have everybody have a fire ring. I want to show that you can do it without that. Bart's has it just in case. Of course, Reyna does have the flame shield as well. 
Let's take on Omega. Omega is going to be very, very difficult for me. Especially if he starts with that. But as you can see, that does not kill me all the way. It doesn't kill me anymore. That's the best way I can put it. I am, I can live through Atom Ray. I don't need it. Uh, we're going to go. Uh, we don't need the fire rings. They have it on just in case, but it is not 100% necessary for me. Okay, haste two on everybody. Hopefully I can get everybody up to speed. Of course, Raina will live, uh, no matter what, because she is now in the air. Beam cannon should probably just kill the two of them. Not what I had in mind. You need to go for S-Shot. As you can see now, with my increased level, I am definitely doing a ton more damage. I can get away with finishing Omega off with just one more turn. Or I could finish him off with just that one turn. Wow. Omega weapon, you just got one-shotted. Down he goes. So, people still die. Uh, uh, of course, that's going to happen. I'm not high enough a level so that he is not an absolute weakling for me. But I one-shotted Omega. That's got to count for something. Give me my money. Give me my Omega badge. I should get a special achievement for one-shotting Omega. That is ridiculous. Give me that. Moving on to the next boss. And now it is time for the next boss fight. We're up against Apprehender, of course. Apprehender, if I remember right, is weak to fire. So, fire. He is a book, after all. Die by fire. And, oh, Magic Hammer! Well, isn't that special? I freaking hate Magic Hammer. Do you still have... Yeah, you still have the Holy Lands. Very nice. Uh, yes, uh, Omega does absorb Holy Poop, but I forgot in my normal playthrough is that uh, when you uh, you sword on your swords, <laughs> that, that cancels out the element. So I could have used the Excalibur before, and it would have helped me out. And there we go. One-shotting Apprehender as well. So you learn something new every time. I did keep the Excalibur on bars last time. And even though Krill's HP is halved, I shouldn't have too much difficulty making it further on. I didn't use her throughout the entire thing for, for MP so far, so not that big of a deal. Let's continue on. Next up is Azul Magia, not Magia, the Blue Wizard. We are up against him. Uh, when I, if I remember right, we are, he is weak against Flare, but I also bet that he is weak against S-Shot with the Brave Blade and Excalibur. So we can go for that, and that will probably be the death of him, considering that did 4,000 damage. Does he have anything on him? He has an elixir. I will take the elixir. Guard off. Defense down. You might have wasted your only turn doing that. How much damage is that? That might be enough to finish him. He might live through that, though. He could live through that. He does. Uh, so we should be able to finish him off with a medium. How much? Oh, about 3,000. No, he lives! Oh my god, it's, it's gonna take me two turns. Yeah, you can just fight. Or you can miss. That, that works too. Level two old! No! She was the pretty one! Eshel will finish him off though. So there you go. First guy that actually takes two turns for me to kill. Outside of Omega. But I still one shot him, damn it. Down goes the blue wizard, even though he's got green and red. I see no blue on you. But you were the blue wizard nonetheless. Down you go. Next up is Catastrophe. I'm going to try to do this uh, without using the cheap uh, technique of always staying in the air. I have not healed after the, uh, after the last fight either. But I shouldn't need to. We should be able to take out Catastrophe fairly easy with one S shot. Doesn't hurt that I already got 6,000 damage in. And that I'm going to be doing... What is that? 36? 30, 3,800? 30, times 4? <laughs> I think that's enough to finish him off. There we go! Then he goes! It's amazing 
with a little bit of level grinding, and by a little bit, I mean four hours? Four, six hours, something like that. Will do. Down he goes. Now it's time for the kissing lady! I'm not a big fan of the kissing lady. If I remember right, I can uh, just go ahead and start attacking her with some powerful magics and it doesn't reflect. It does not! I refuse to try to pronounce her name again. She is the kissing lady. Once again, I think I can finish her off with this I shot right here. I haven't needed to change my party one bit. Like, ever. Uh, no, she'll, she'll still live. She's got quite a bit of HP, so it will take a little bit of work. I have ribbons on! I don't care if you try to cast Frog on me. Toad. It's Toad. Doesn't matter, though, because I have Medio. Probably st still not enough to finish her off. It is going to take two turns, unfortunately. So use the second one that will require two turns outside of Omega, who I still deem optional. Still couldn't steal? Oh well. Down you go. This should be more than enough to finish you off. Freaking kissing lady. You tried to kiss me. You tried to turn me into a toad. But it did not work out for you, did it? No. I have gotten my revenge on you. And away she goes! God, I love this party! It's not even fully upgraded yet, either. Well, yet. I, I have no plans of upgrading this party any further. Like I said, I'm over-leveled enough as it is. Over-leveled enough to try to take on Twintania. Now, if I remember right, once again, he does not have Reflect on him. If he does, Flare goes right through it. But I'm pretty sure he doesn't. Twintania, once again, weird name. Weird name. Uh, him I am going... Wow, yeah, he's weak to Holy. And she's got the Holy Lance on, of course. As a result, I will actually be using Sword. This guy does have a ton of HP, so I might as well try to get as much Holy damage in as I can. Um... I shouldn't need uh, more than one more attack from Bart, but this guy does have a ton of HP, of course. Look how much damage that's doing, though. Mega Flare across the board? Doesn't matter. Adam Ray across the board? Doesn't matter. I'm too powerful for that now. I think I already stole from him. God, so much damage. As is this. Holy crap. That's going to be enough to finish him off. So nobody requires more than two turns in order for me to kill so far. <laughs> That's hilarious to me. Down goes Twindania. Not too difficult anymore, are ya? Okay, I have switched my party around just a little bit here. I unfortunately did not remember to purchase Coral Ring, so hopefully I'll be able to do it with, uh, with just what I have. I have one Coral Ring on Bars. He still has the Excalibur on. Uh, Double Lance on Reyna with the Genji Glove and Genji Shield. Krill has the Coral Ring as well. Ferris has a Flame Shield. Everything else is the same. Let's see what we can't do up against... Shinryu. Shinryu is going to be the death of me. I can see it now. Shinryu, I need you to have Flare cast on you. Go, Flare! That should do a little bit of damage. Of course, Shinryu is stacked with HP. And, of course, Shinryu starts off with a tidal wave. Of course he does. That will wipe out anybody that does not have a coral ring. Uh, you! You need to go for Flare Sword! Now, hopefully I can pull this off. What I need to do first is a Haste 2. Hopefully that will help me here. I don't know if it is the smartest strategy to start. Uh, but let's go for S-Shot. As you can see, I am going to be doing, uh, what is that, 6,500 times 4, 13,000 times 2, 26,000 damage per turn on this guy. Okay, let's go ahead and go for an Arise on Reyna. Reyna will help with a little bit of damage, and she can actually avoid the Tidal Wave should I be able to get her up in the air. Adam Ray does not kill Reyna. Very nice. Okay, so another S-Shot. 
from Bart's. Is that going to be enough to finish Shinryu off? I don't think it is, but it should be very, very close. Down he goes! Whoa! I beat him! <laughs> I am very happy about this, as I'm sure you'll be able to tell. I beat him! Didn't even need full coral rings, just need two! Very nice, yes! <laughs> and for that I get... Nothing. I get bubkiss. Uh, let me let me look up how much he gives you. <laughs> Inter oh, I'm just so happy. And I get the dragon seal as proof uh, that I have actually beaten him. Holy crap. Uh, he gives... Where is it? It's got to be listed here somewhere. 100 ability points should you beat him. That's pretty much it. But let's take a look. And we have received Ragnarok. Very nice. I do believe that is actually an upgrade for from the Excalibur. It is. Is it an upgrade? No. Okay. It's 10 less than the Brave Blade, so it has a total attack power of 140. Better than the Excalibur. We can get that Ragnarok. Very nice. We actually get a tangible reward for this one. Uh, we need to arrange, so let's look for that Dragon Seal. Where is that? There it is, right next to the Omega Badge. Replenish, not lost nutrition from slain dragons. Okay. <laughs> like I'm never going to get rid of that. I'm going to keep that as proof that I have beaten Shenryu. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and heal and meet you at the next boss.